And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, playing some Marvel Spider-Man PC. And today we're going to be showcasing another mod that I'm really hyped about. This is one that I was really looking forward to and hoping was going to be added to the game. And here we are. We're not playing as the Scarlet Spider today. Matter of fact, if we scroll all the way down here and go to the amazing Bagman suit, we're playing as Wolverine on Spider-Man PC today. Now listen, if you're hyped for Wolverine PS5, if you cannot wait for this game and wanna see some more from it, well then scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me. Let's get this video to 1500 likes for the Wolverine hype. This mod was created by the incredible Marabo, who we've seen a couple of videos made on this channel from. This definitely comes from Fortnite, okay, I know, but again, Fortnite makes some really good designs for their characters, and Wolverine is no exception to that rule. Look how great this design looks, and look how well it fits in Marvel's Spider-Man. I think this is perfect, and right now, if you told me to show me a screenshot without knowing that this comes from Fortnite, if you said that Wolverine had a DLC coming to Spider-Man, I'd believe you. Now, unfortunately, because this mod just has the claws out, like as is, you can't really control that, and you can't make it so that the claws go back in. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, Wolverine's an angry dude, so why wouldn't he keep his claws out? And sometimes it's kind of cool when you're in a pose like this. It looks like, you know, he's stabbing into the ground. It's so sweet. I can't wait for Wolverine PS5. I can't wait to see what Insomniac does with the character of Wolverine. I feel like they're going to nail it, especially considering how well they nailed Spider-Man. I just hope that they end up having a rated M game, you know? Like, that's that's the only thing I hope. You're going to notice as well that there's uh, there's some blood effects. Uh, that mod, I believe, comes from Skull. I'm going to link in the description both the mods here today so that you can check them out yourselves and download everything. But all this stuff is fantastic. Definitely goes really well together. I know you're seeing some webs coming out. I always try to make it so that it's, like, accurate. Uh, the uppercuts work really well. Let me see if I can do a takedown. Okay. All right, Wolverine. Sometimes Wolverine's a bit acrobatic. All right, sometimes he could do a little Huracarana action. Ow. Wait, hold on. Try it again. Try. Yeah, you wish, buddy. Ah, uh, the uppercut with the Wolverine claws. That would hurt a lot. So let's be honest. If you got uppercut while Wolverine had his claws out, you wouldn't have a face. Okay, <laughs> that'd be game over for you, buddy. Trying to do a little parkour here with Wolverine. You know, again, I, I don't want to use the web powers. I always try to do this when I'm using a, uh, a suit mod that doesn't necessarily, like, have it be Spider-Man, but it's still, like, a Marvel character or just a character that's, like, from comic books. You know, I want to try and keep things comic accurate, try and keep the immersion, you know? I don't, I don't think Wolverine's the the biggest parkour type dude but he's definitely not a web swinger so we know that much but oh man this mod is sweet and i know wolverine ps5 was announced just about a year ago now well actually over a year ago at this point during the last playstation showcase and i've said it before i'll kind of reiterate that honestly if you're looking forward to more wolverine ps5 if you want to see some more I wouldn't keep your hopes up to see anything until after Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes out. So there's nothing you could do about the webs. Just got to deal with it. The blood effects are actually really cool. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, we're kind of getting beat up here. Uh. Uh, uh. There it is. Oh, there was a web. <laughs> there's sometimes, you know, Wolverine, He's he's got it, okay? Sometimes he, he's got those web powers, you know? Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, let's do a takedown. Let's do okay, yeah, Wolverine could do that. Wolverine could... Oh, right onto the taxi cab. <laughs> Man, that guy got rocked. This dude did not have it too good for him. Look at these people. They're, they're totally calm. Totally. This guy's windshield should be absolutely destroyed, by the way. I'll tell you what I'm most interested by is who they're going to get to do the face and the voice of Wolverine on Wolverine PS5. Because... They really struck gold with Yuri Lowenthal for Marvel Spider-Man. And I wonder if they're going to be able to do something like that again. If they're going to be able to replicate that magic with an all new voice actor. Because again, they did such a good job with Yuri Lowenthal. And what was so amazing about Yuri Lowenthal 
is I think apart from maybe like a mobile game, that, that it was like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 mobile game. Yuri Lowenthal, nobody really knew to be a voice for Spider-Man. And now Yuri Lowenthal is pretty much the only voice, aside from maybe something like Josh Keaton, that a lot of people hear when they read like a Spider-Man comic. Okay, I, I gotta use some I gotta use some some spider powers to take down these dudes. A couple uppercuts here and there though, you know? Because the uppercuts is like the best way that I can actually get it to look like the Wolverine claws are doing the work. Because in this game, actually, Spider-Man uses a lot of kicking to beat people up. So, you know, that's uh, this is kind of one of the ways to do it. Uh, give me a cool takedown. Give me a cool take. Oh, I'm out of uh, I'm out of juice. I don't got enough in me. Wait, what's this guy doing up here? What are you doing? Uh. Wait, we're gonna give him another uppercut. There it is. With the blood effects and everything too, it looks really sweet. Oh man, he looks sick at night. This suit is like sweet. This mod is perfect. Another thing too that I really wonder about with the Wolverine game is, is it gonna be open world? Are we gonna be able to free roam? Cause I think that they can make it work. Some people are like, well, how do you make it so that Wolverine can free roam? But honestly, I think that that could work. I mean, just imagine he has his bike with him. And then when you climb up walls, you know, he's just putting the claws into the walls. I think that's fine. Like they could totally make Wolverine free roaming work. I, I feel like a lot of people don't give enough credit to Insomniac and their ability to give really cool traversal options. I mean, look at something like Sunset Overdrive, for example, you know, those characters running on the railings and the power lines and this and that. That game is so much fun to just roam around in. So they could totally make Wolverine work. I mean, come on guys, this, this is the Marvel world. They, they literally could create powers for Wolverine if they wanted to give him a super jump or something, who knows? But I feel like for sure they can make traversal work for this character. Okay, let's beat some dudes up. Let's, uh, 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 uh. There we go. That's it. If you leave the big dudes alive during these these random encounters, oh my God, he just throw a trash can at me? What was that? Then once you leave the big dudes alive, then they don't steal the car, I don't think. Oh, I slashed him there. That was crazy. Okay, he, he just got knocked out. Mm, 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 uh. Give him an uppercut, slash him in the back. Yeah, you could do some pretty cool stuff actually with this mod that makes it feel like Wolverine, to be honest. Especially with the blood effects. Yeah, download these mods. The link's in the description. When you pair it with the blood effects, it's nice. It's subtle, but it's nice. Okay, what else can I say about this suit? It's absolutely perfect. Again, huge shout outs to Marabo for creating this mod. I can't wait to see what other mods are added into this game, and I cannot wait to hear more about Wolverine PS5. And with that being said, now I wanna kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What are you most looking forward to in the Wolverine game? What can you not wait to check out from that game? I think for me, aside from like seeing the combat and it potentially being open world, I wanna see what alternate suits Insomniac adds into that game. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I've been Caboose and I'll see you next time.